A year, another story. We have the full potential to create our own reality. When you put your left hand on your heart, you will know what I'm talking about. And more long you can leave your hand there during a day, more it means that you are able to stay always in your heart. And eventually you're not going to be able uh, obliged to, to do it again. You're just going to be able to be always in light, in love. 2016 was a year of purification. We uh, buried the old and uh, it's not only bury, it's like... Uh, Put it into ashes and never come back. And it's all about the ego, you know? The ego, we were raised in a lifestyle of ego. And uh, the whole point on life is to get as far as we can of our ego. We need to reprogram ourselves to find, figure out that when you are living in your heart space. Uh, everything around you is divine perfection alignment. Not only alignment, but harmony. Yes, harmony. That's the word I was thinking of. So, now a new beginning is happening and uh, we understand what really take place in 2016. It's it become more clear all what we've been through, and now we can like we can see you know, And because we have the tools to to navigate now, you know, uh, we gain these tool at the end of 2016, and we really fight ourselves to get them, you know. Because we understand that it's with these tools that it's more easy for us to achieve our dream, to create. And to achieve the, these tools, we need to build ourselves up with confidence, with health. We need to uh, uh, expand our comfort zone, explore. You know, we need to find out the hard way for the last time, to be able to come into 2017 with a new book and nothing is writ in, okay? And we are able now to just grab our, the right tools that we have, like I'm going to give you an example. In 2016, I take my ego and I bury it and I say to Jesus, please stay on top of my ego for 24 hours and after 24 hours, my ego was not showing up. So I say, what the fuck, you know, how come? Uh, it's because the more I boost and I feed myself, I feed my God with the right fuel, you know, uh, drink the right stuff, eat the right stuff, uh, high frequency stuff. Uh, my ego is afraid of it. You don't want to, he's not enough strong to pick a fight with love, you know, because love have no fear. Fear, have fear, okay? And uh, ego, have fear. Ego is all based of fear. So, you know, uh, that's how I was able to liberate myself from my ego and gain a whole lot of confidence. And I don't stop now. I continue every day increasing it, huh? the, the, the right, the right stuff, because uh, it leads me always into the right path, the right environment, the right people. So when you step out of the way, and when I say step out of the way, it means when you let your ego aside and you just be. Because life is precious. Huh? Life fly by. A uh, hundred years, it's a, a grain of sand in, uh, into a, a, a beach of uh, infinite uh, quantity of sand. Okay? Let's see it like that. So, 
uh, every second, every moment, every day, every week, every... It's important that you do what you love. And I know I was, I was like you before, okay? I, I, I was not doing what I, I want to do or I was doing it part-time, okay? But the, the thing in life, it's not to do it part-time what you love. It's to do it all the time. Huh? So as gradually huh, you move into the transition of doing always what you love. But there is no age to that. You're not obliged to do it uh, when you take your old pension and stuff like that. You can do it right now, whatever the age you are. There is no age to that. For divine perfection, alignment, harmony, there is no age. The only thing is that you need to do it now. With love, with the heart into the driver's seat of your body. And it's how you're going to speak to yourself that you're going to be able to, to finally one day be doing it. You know, it's by maybe um, lie to yourself that you, even if you don't believe it, you're going to need to like to prime yourself like it's already happening. So. Now it's time for me to get some good stuff at the right place, at the right time, because that's what I need to move forward, to be able to create whatever I have to create. So that's an energy update, January 2, and I baptize, I baptize this day as the day of creativity. For all you creator out there, uh, you deserve a tap on your shoulder and say, it's my day today. I, I, I'm not lazy. I'm a, I'm a creator and I share with the world and it's not a different day today. I'm going to just do it with more love and uh, I'm going to stay more authentic with myself doing what I do best, creating with love. So the, for now on, the, January 2, it's a day of creativity. It's the day for us to shine. Even if we shine every day, today is the day that we can say, congrats, congrats. We deserve it. We work hard. And uh, especially in December uh, 2016 was a whole lot of a, a final... Um, Test to uh, to go through, but uh, we made it. We finished with a bang, huh? Bang. We finished with a bang, huh? And we entered the year with a bang, and we celebrate now. And that's how we start the year strong. And f f we start a new a new book, huh? And the book we can create it how we want it now because uh, the purification is done we are able to just be and uh, without string strain attached to us eh? we are free We're, and uh, the all the effort and all the seed that we plant in love in 2016 come to us at the right place at the right time in 2017 for us to be able to Share our light. Oh, yes. Shikikilib style. Oh, yes. Peace.